Hey Legends, I just wanted to put together a quick video for the Apple users who've been asking about access to the app. Until we have an iOS version developed, there's a way for you guys to get access if you've got a Windows PC, and this solution may also work if you've got a Mac. However, I don't have a Mac to test, so I can't confirm that, but you guys can go ahead and try. Uh, to see whether it's possible to do the same for a Mac. So what we're going to do is actually download an Android emulator software, which basically allows you to load an emulated version of an Android device on your computer, which will then give you access to the Google Play Store. From there, you can go and download the app and start using it. So the one that we are going to use is called Bluestacks. If you go to the Bluestacks website, which is www.bluestacks.com, you'll see that there's two options for you to select a piece of software to download. So the one that we're looking for is Bluestacks 5, the green button. So if you click on that and go ahead and download it, you'll be able to open up the emulator, which I'm going to show on screen in just a second. Okay, so we've got the software open now, and as you can see, there's a Google Play Store icon and some other icons that you might expect to see on an Android device. Now, this emulator allows you to select several different versions of an Android operating system, and we need to navigate to an Android 11 operating system instance. So what you're going to need to do if you have a look along the right hand side of the screen on this piece of software, you will see an icon that looks like some stacked blocks. And that is the multi instance manager, which allows you to change the operating system. So if you click on that, a new window will pop up, which for some reason my streaming software is not letting me uh, show you guys. However, the new window is called the Bluestacks multi instance manager. In there, if you click on the blue button in the bottom left hand corner called Instance, you can go ahead and open up an instance of an Android 11 beta device. Now when you do that, once you've selected it, it will ask you to download some additional files which you can go ahead and do and then you'll open up an instance that looks exactly the same as the one we've got up on screen now. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is open the Google Play Store by clicking on the button. And the first time that you use it, it's going to ask you to sign in to Google Play. Now to sign into Google Play, you'll need a Gmail uh, address, email address. If you don't already have a Google Play account, just go ahead and create a Gmail email address and you can sign in. We're going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll go through downloading and setting up the app. Okay, so we've signed in and we're now just going to go through the process of agreeing to the Google Terms and Services. We then accept all of these terms and we have access to the Google Play Store. So what you want to do is go and search for the app by typing in caddy for ug once you've done that you'll see our icon pop up here we click on that and then we just install it so once that's installed you can then go ahead and open it up and you will see in just a second that it will work just like it would on an android phone Okay, so you've got exactly like the tutorial that I put on my YouTube channel a couple of days ago showing how to set up the app. You can go through that. Um, so we'll just very quickly do that. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing here, but go ahead and watch the setup tutorial and that will show you all of the things you need to know for setting up a new bag. Just gonna set one up really quickly. I'm 
Okay, so we've got all of our clubs selected. We can then go back. Now, when the first time that we hit Wind Calculator, because it's emulating an Android device and our app uses overlay settings, you'll click on it and it's going to ask you to allow UG Caddy to overlay. So, so click on the UG Caddy icon and you will see a button pop up on the right hand side to allow it to display over other apps. You wanna click on that, that's now giving it access and then all you need to do is hit the back button up in the top left area. And we then go back one more and we've now got access to the app. So we click on wind calculator, drag down the icon and on a computer, it's probably a little bit easier to use the, the calculator method of input. Uh, so as you can see, I'm on a computer and I'm able to use the app just as I would expect it to function on an Android device. So there's a solution for you guys that's going to work in the meantime. Um, go ahead and give it a try. Important that you make sure you select Android 11 as it will likely crash on any of the other Android operating system instances all right so there you go um hopefully that works for you guys as i said you might be able to get it to work on a mac device as well but i would recommend trying to find an emulator that is android 11 not any of the other android operating systems i'm crossing everything for you guys because i really want you guys to have access to it i'm hoping that this works for everybody i know it's going to work for a big chunk of people um so yeah good luck Go ahead and see how that goes. All right. Cheers, guys. Good luck.